First and all new at 11, massive piles of debris dumped just feet away from burrowing owls. Sad, because I know they're supposed to be protected. Pictures like this have a lot of you angry. Yeah, that big pile is on Northwest 26th Street. That is north of Kismet Parkway, but it's not the only potential danger. That I beat John Carlos Estrada joins us from Fish and Wildlife Conservation's Lee County office. John Carlos? Amanda, Cape Coral's Friends of Wildlife tell me that this agency right over here, the FWC, could be the agency that helps out those animals, but that Hurricane Irma debris isn't just a nuisance for the animals. Neighbors tell me that the debris, some of it seven foot tall, is blocking roads and also it could be a fire hazard. This part of Cape Coral is active with dump trucks, many hauling Irma debris. They're always coming around. Around 5.30, 6 in the morning, they start coming around. That's when I usually leave to school. Cape Coral neighbors now worry the debris piles are getting too close to their smallest neighbors. And not far from that owl in its nest are these big piles of Irma debris. You can see most of it is now mulch made out of branches and palm fronds after Hurricane Irma. And we've surveyed this whole area over here. We've noticed that there's at least three wildlife nests among this dumping lot. It's kind of sad because I know they're supposed to be protected. Cape Coral Friends of Wildlife say the burrowing owls are protected and need space around their nests, which neighbors here say they know. We don't really disturb them. We just kind of like leave them on their own. You know, dump trucks and people of Cape Coral are know that you're not supposed to go near that area and to give them room. These dry debris piles are also obstructing roads and neighbors worry it could be a fire hazard. You got to worry about the, the fires. But for now, their biggest worry is the burrowing owls. And hopefully, you know, something will happen and whether it's the community or maybe someone in Cape Coral will come and, and remove that debris from them, you know, maybe a little sooner than normal to ensure their safety. If they're protected, it's for a reason. They could be dumping it on the other side because they have a lot more field that way. And we've sent photos of the nest as well as some of the animals that we saw out there among the debris to the city of Cape Coral as well as FWC. We haven't heard back yet from them. On the night, be John Carlos Estrada, Wink News Now. All right, John Carlos, we'll be sure to